Jason, Pete, Hollis Farms. It's been daylight just a little bit. I'm kind of running just a little bit behind this morning. Planned on being down here in Mississippi pretty early this morning. Kind of hit my snooze a little bit. But anyway, been drizzling ever since I've been out. I didn't know it was supposed to do any rain in the day. I hadn't even uh, looked at the radar yet. I get up here and get some service. I'm going to look at the radar. But going to go down. I got to check all the feeders. And like I've been doing, it takes quite a bit of time to when it's wet like this and to run around with the ranger and do it. But I make, what I do is I make my whole round once. It's, and uh, get a little bit in each one of them and kind of go around. I'll eventually get them all, all filled up. I'm going to look for some hog sign and not sure what all we're going to do today. i got to get on this burning before long as soon as it gets dry enough. Make sure this stuff slid up enough <clears throat> where it won't fall out. I ain't gonna get you, you go in with me. But he thinks I'm gonna leave him in here or leave him in the truck. Come on, you alright? Come on. Let me hook you up. I like to hook him up because he likes to jump and run. We'll do that sometime, but not while we're putting out corn. He got kind of used to. Alright, gotcha. Pete got used to just about every time we was coming down here and was going in after a hog. And I was leaving him in the dog box, so it's kind of got to where he likes to run off from me, wondering if he's going to get to go or not. He's going to eat corn and have a little breakfast. y'all this is one of the spots that i put the first hog trap we got remember how they had it wallered all the way around and we drug the trap over here this feeder's been out a little while it's getting to be the same way seeing some pretty fresh tracks around though feeder hadn't been out long and all these little bitty tracks here that's gonna be some little pigs so we will definitely be moving trap over here before long. These are the final trap or one of the drop traps. But since I got feed back in here, they'll be back. Boy, it's nasty. Scouting for hogs. I believe we found a spot to put the trap. Me and 
Pete got a pretty good bit done. Boy, it's a nasty mess. We had done got hungry, so. Oh. Stopped by the store and got us a little pack of nabs. Got me a little drink. Got, to, got me a few little peanuts. I'm trying to slack up on the tater chips and stuff so bad. Pete's just wore out. He's ready for a nap. All right, y'all. So I was going to go to Tractor Supply. I forgot. I, I, I don't forget. I come down here. It's just a little bit out of my way, but I really like shopping down at Knoxby Farm Supply here. Really nice people there, but I getting ready to start trapping some coons and I need that I got a couple of feeder batteries that's bad so they had the feeder batteries there I use tie wire to uh, tie my dog proof traps up probably I don't know if there's an easier way or not that's what I like to do and usually when I go in there and get thinking about it I grab me a couple of extra traps I ended up with three of the dog proof traps today I'm gonna try to end up before it's over with have me about 40 of them. That's 20 something. But anyway, got us a couple feeder batteries, some tie wire, and a three more dog proof coon traps. They are wearing us out around these feeders, so we're gonna try to wear them. Alright y'all, so I made it back to uh farm here in Alabama. Been to rinse this ranger off. I gotta get Get his service. Got a guy that services them for me. He goes over them pretty good. He'll catch some stuff that I ain't gonna catch. I really don't want to get the pressure washer out today because I really don't want to listen to it. So I'm gonna see how easy it comes off and uh, not get the pressure washer. If it gets too bad, I don't think I can get it knocked off enough. We'll get it out. But as of right now, I'm not going to. Because, boy, just as soon as it gets serviced, it will be right back in the mud. All right, she's not spotless for sure, but, man, it had some mud packed on that thing. All right, now, this is this old concrete off a little bit, boy, it had some junk on it. Lots of hogs been hauled off with that thing for uh, run the hours up on it and brought the 1,000 back. Alright y'all, so here's what I'm fixing to do now. I uh, popped one of our new Ameristep blinds out and I've got my recurve strung up. I'm not sure if this blind's big enough for my recurve, but I am fixing to get me a little stool. I gotta get me a, I'm gonna get me a little lightweight tripod folding chair that I don't have. A lot of times when I'm hunting with these things and get them popped out and it's not a very windy day, I'll just uh, pop it out real quick, raise it up and climb in. But the decoy is at 10 yards and this is one thing that I'll most likely do if uh, when we turkey hunt with a bow, I'm going to set them decoys close, close so we'll have some good action. But I'm finna get my recurve. I'm gonna set y'all in there with me. Hopefully I got enough light in there and we're gonna shoot at 10 yards or hope. I hope I got enough room to shoot my recurve in there. Let's sleep real quick. All right, y'all, I um, got in here. I'm gonna close this one more. I'm coming loose one while I was uh, popping it out. I'm gonna 
if this thing is real as possible. I'm curious about how the lighting is going to be in here with the GoPro. Because I'll probably have my little Sony or whatever I'm filming the turkey with right here. And I want the GoPro in here getting the shot. So, let's see. Yeah. I don't like wearing my hat around backwards, but when you get down on these bows, I can't shoot with uh, my bill. All right. We're going to be fine. Yes, sir. This is going to be fun. I'm going to definitely be hunting with my compound, but we may play with the recurve, too. Get a turkey in at 10 yards. That's the thing about sitting in this blind. A lot of times when I am hunting, hunting with a uh, shotgun, I use a blind. I may put the decoys out there a little bit further. Being in this blind where they can't see you, I want them close as possible. And a lot of times, especially Mississippi and Alabama, these turkeys are sharp now. They might hang up. Let's just say they hang up at 15 or 20 yards, you still can get a shot. So, actually, I would probably put the decoys seven or eight yards, maybe, with the recurve. With a compound, I might put them out there about, you know, 10 to 15. Let's see how I ain't shot the recurve in a, in a little while. Sometimes I forget how I'm supposed to knock my arrow for the feather. I went out. Makes a difference how it comes off the shelf. Alright, I need to get the key, one key to these blinds too. Get back as far as you can. You don't want your elbow to hit, but. Alright, I'm gonna be good right there. Alright, we are at 10 steps, 10 yards. Ha! I like this thing. I can pull it off, I just got to make myself do it. It's hard sometimes. These turkeys drive you crazy and you want to get out there with that shotgun. But this right here is bow hunting. I love it. I love it. And uh, bow hunting, you never know. It's never over till it's over. This blind, he ain't gonna see you. Let him come in there strut. My group ain't the best. I think my strings hit my sweatshirt. All right, let's go see how I did. It wasn't the best group, and then we're probably gonna do it again. It wasn't the best group in the world, but it's a dead turkey. We're gonna, let's shoot another round. The sun's getting bright, ain't it? The one thing that I would like to do, or need to do, when fooling with these blinds. I don't mind popping them up before, like when you catch one goblin and popping up. But if I get the opportunity to roost one or kind of have a good idea where they're hanging out, oh, I would love to pop it up that afternoon before. I hope y'all can see me. I know I'm pointing back in this black now. Definitely got to put my arm guard on. My strings hitting my sleeve. Well, this would be the ultimate. I've, I've killed turkey with a bow, but I've never killed one with the tradition, traditional equipment. That's a pretty good group there. wind ain't blowing it's no problem just to raise them up like so if I knew that turkey was gonna come in front of me like I said before I would have one of these windows up so they couldn't see through groups a little better a little better
<laughs> All right, I may shoot a couple more rounds, and I'm about ready to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.